What was your first encounter with utter bullshit during your childhood? My little sister pushed me down the stairs, and I got in trouble for antagonizing her. She wouldn't do that for no reason. You did not know your daughter mom and dad. To my knowledge it was for no reason it was the morning. So I hadn't even gotten the chance to piss her off. Also it wasn't the first time she had done it just the first time my parents got involved. I bet she would also smile like an angel. Man. That's how you get some primal fear and Lincoln lawyer type situations. When I was in kindergarten we had to that thing. Where you had a grid of boxes. And in each box was a word. You would have to cut out each box individually. Then arrange the words in some order. After a few months of cutting out each box. Like we had been shown. I figured that cutting out the rows. And putting them on top of each other. So the boxes lined up. And cutting them out like that. Would take a lot less time. My teacher saw me do this. I had to stay in at recess. To cut them out the right way. WTF you were literally just formulating important problem solving skills. But this way he also got to learn. That authority figures are often stupid. And there's nothing you can do about it. True life lessons. The more you know. In preschool. My mom gave me a book of math problems. And said if I got them all done by the end of the day. I'd get a reward. I did the shit out of those math problems. My reward was a hug. I felt like Patrick from the Valentine's episode of Spongebob. Edit. I feel I should clarify my mom and I love each other very much. It's just when you're 5 and you hear the word reward, you tend to have high expectations. Treachery. My mom finding a cigarette in the backyard. Accusing me of having stolen a friend's mom's cigarettes to secretly smoke there. And grounding me for it despite me not having done any such thing. I was like 9 at that time. My mom had cigarettes and cash constantly come up missing. I took the blame for all of it. Until they found out our ferret had a secret nest in the lining of the couch and her favorite raiding place was mom's purse. That's like an episode of community. How did you guys make up? I got no apology or recognition. That my parents were in the wrong. Grew up. And now I'm an adult in treatment for PTSD from repeated childhood trauma and neglect. On the plus side. Both my parents got help for their issues, and are way easier to have a relationship with now. Edit. A word. Sorry you went through this. I was also treated for PTSD after my upbringing. To be fair. Though. I would never think the ferret was the one doing the stealing. Was asked to watch the rectory on Friday nights, so the priests could have a night off. I was 12 years old. My job basically was to accept food that was brought by parishioners for the priests and find a place for it in their jammed pack double glass door refrigerator that was as wide as two refrigerators. There were four priests at our tiny parish. I accepted fully cooked roasts, hams, casseroles and cakes. I was told not to eat anything. A few months later I was made to clean the convent with a couple of the nuns as a punishment for talking too much in class. There were 23 nuns who lived on site and tagged school. Their kitchen had a tiny refrigerator, and when it was lunchtime they opened a cupboard of expired canned goods. We had very old tomato soup for lunch with stale bread and milk made from powder. I asked them if they knew about the food over at the rectory, and they said no. Did they ever get any of the food from the rectory? Not that I was aware of. There was so much food at the rectory I wondered HW they could eat it all. The nuns ate donated food and wore donated clothes. No habits. When they sat us 7th grade girls down to discuss possibly becoming a nun I said absolutely no way. Wow. That's horrible. I was bullied a lot in elementary school. To be fair. I was a pretty easy target for the bullying. R slash Rosen would have a meltdown not knowing where to start. So every day at lunch and recess I would get chased and harassed by four other boys. One day the teacher assigned to keep order on the playground grabbed me and told me to quit running. But of course. As soon as I did the four boys began pushing and taunting me. So I started running again. Next thing I know the teacher grabs me by the arm and starts to paddle me. Teachers could do that back then. She missed my ass and caught me in the back again. So I cussed at her. She sent me to the principal's office. And when I told him what had happened he just shook his head. Then had me stand up to take three licks from his paddle. Fifth grade is when I learned the world was utter bullshit. Why weren't you allowed to run on the playground? My school did the same thing. 
people would fall over and hurt themselves or run into the play sets. Kids running while playing and occasionally tripping themselves. Oh. No no no. Smacking kids in the ass with a paddle and missing? Sounds good to me. That's a great solution. When our teacher would yell at us if we asked to go to the bathroom at the beginning of class because we should gone earlier. And then yell at us if we asked to go in the middle of class because we were interrupting. And then yell at us if we wanted to go at the end because we were trying to ditch since the class was almost over. So when can we go between classes but you dock points if we are late shut up. My best friend had multiple bladder infections as a kid because she was so terrified of confrontation and the teacher yelling at her that she never relieved her tiny child bladder the entire time she was at school. I had bladder issues as a kid and wet myself in first grade one time when my teacher refused to let me go. Ever after, I had blanket permission from my mom to go when needed as long as I didn't make a scene and whoever had a problem could take it up with her. There's a history of Ibs and Crohn's disease in my family my grandma and two aunts have it. It skipped my mom. Thank god. One of my aunts, which is now in her 30s married, three kids etc, has a horror story like this. Her teacher yelled at her for these exact BS reasons that teachers like to come up with and didn't let her use the restroom. My aunt being the respectful child that she was listened to the teacher to the point where she couldn't hold it anymore. She asked again. And by the time the teacher had let her go she had shit herself already. Best believe my grandma went and yelled at anyone and everyone she possibly could find and after that. Nobody ever asked her twice about anything when she had to go to the bathroom again. They all still have it. And one of her daughters, 12, recently got diagnosed. It's crazy to see how hard the disease can hit, especially when they are stressed out. It literally takes the life out of them. I was around 7 to 8. It was sports day in my school and I participated in pass the baton. I was enjoying myself and trying my hardest. But at the end of it my class teacher told my mom in front of me that I was too slow. Not sure why I took it to heart but I just felt disappointed and it made me lose confidence in sports. Hey. Fuck sports. When I was in middle school I had a required pet class. And it was the first time with a locker room kind of experience. This particular coach didn't like cuss words. So one stupid kid in the locker room decided to yell at the top of his lungs. Fuck. Just to piss off the coach. So the coach has us all run miles until the kid confesses. I try explaining that I wasn't even in the locker room at the time. But he just said to shut up and run. First time I ever puked in pet class. So. Now. Fuck pet. I fucking hate teachers who make kids hate what they teach. Fuck you missus. Jacobs. So true. Had a 6th grade teacher make us do written book reports every week for the entire year. Goes without saying that I hated reading until I was a few years out of college. My mom. You don't lie to others. Also my mom. Backslash backslash getting caught red handed while telling a lie and I had to call her out on it backslash backslash. Any place where children under 11 eat free. Okay son you're 10 got it. But mom I'm 12. You're 10 goddammit. My stepdad was making plane reservations over the phone. Yeah I'm that old. And he told the person I was whatever age the child rate was. I yelled out my real age. I got the look. My mom brought my brother and me to laser tag one day and the rule was you had to be 6 or older to play. My mom was about to pay for both of us to play when my brother blurted out, but mom the sign says 6. I'm only 5. The first time I was followed by a couple of guys in a car. I was 12. I ran to the nearest house for help. And I asked them if we should call the police. And they said no. Looking back, I think they were wrong. Who in their right mind would deny a 12 year old calling the police. You were a smart child. A selfish person who doesn't want to be inconvenienced to help someone. I mean. I would underscore help. But I was just about to start cooking dinner. Oh. And could you try to make it a few more blocks down the street. Before you get kidnapped. I have plans later this evening. And it would be a real hassle. If the street was blocked off by investigators or something. The fact that this seemed somewhat reasonable to me means that I need to change some priorities 